um, now it's time for Mockingjay Monday, even though right now it's actually 10.30 p.m. on Sunday night, because tomorrow morning the Hunger Games trailer will be premiering at 6 a.m. in the morning. So everyone's freaking out right now, like, oh my gosh, it's coming out tomorrow, what is it going to be like, are we going to be disappointed, are we going to like it? Lionsgate gave me the amazing opportunity to come to their screening room to watch the trailer with a group of a few other fan sites like Down with the Capital and The Hob. We watched it, we were so like on our tiptoes like waiting before it started like we're watching this in a little theater, this is like the best way to watch it ever, we were just watching it looking at the screen and then all of a sudden it started and we were all fixated and we see Katniss walking down in the seam and then we go through the whole thing where we see Gale and Katniss and their whole chemistry seems really good and they're laughing and they're hunting and then we see the hovercraft come out above everything and you can see the CGI effects to make the hovercrafts and the capital um, awesome cool technology is actually really good. It looks realistic. I was amazed by it. The other part that I loved about this trailer was we got to see Prim get chosen and how Katniss was telling her before you only got one entry, you're not going to be chosen, it's only one entry. So, of course, Prim would be scared about that. I might be chosen, this is my first year where I might be chosen. And I thought Willow Shields did an amazing performance as Prim. I, of course, everyone doesn't really, didn't really know how she was going to perform because it's her first real big role, she's a completely unknown actress. And she seemed like a really nice girl from the interviews I've seen, but we don't really know her acting ability. And I'm sure tomorrow morning when you all see it, don't you think that her performance was amazing? You can just see how when Ka when she gets chosen, you can see how uh, Jennifer Lawrence shows off her acting skills, volunteering for Prim, and then Prim is crying and being taken off by peacekeepers, and it's just so heartbreaking, and it's just like reading the book, and that's what we all want, right? We want to see what we read. We don't want it to be changed, and it just seems so much like the book. During the reaping, we see Effie and we hear the capital accent that's described in the books. And it's just like I imagined it, like I, I was thinking something like that. It's kind of, it's strange. It's, it's definitely the type of capital-esque accent that I was thinking that would be. It's, it's very, very awesome. And she just has the pasty makeup and the lipstick and the eye makeup and the hair and the dress. It just all seems so, like how Katniss found them kind of off and odd. It's just like, it's like we were stuck in that world where people's fashions had changed so much we were stuck off and we didn't see how the times had changed and of course like if someone from the 1930s randomly got stuck in the times today they'd also think we were kind of weird so I think it's a cool it's like a social kind of interesting commentary you know we get to see Katniss uh she's you see her with Cinna and she says are you here to make me pretty and he says no, I'm here to make you make an impression. And I feel like that's so cool. It's, it's, it's so much of what it stands for. It's not, it's kind of like the celebrity in Hollywood. You're, you want to make an impression. And in this, she's, you want to be the one that everyone notices. You want to be the one that people will root for in the games and give them, pay money to see them win and give them uh, the parachutes of cool things. And you, mean it. you want them to really feel for you. And Sina understands what to do to make people think, wow, I want to give something to Katniss. And um, the, everyone is probably, probably wondering, how will Lenny be a Cinna? And of course, I, I also imagine Cinna as a very skinny white guy. So, like someone who looked a little bit like Hugh Dancy, maybe? So of course, when Lenny Kravitz was cast, I was like, this is not, this is not who I imagined. I do not know about this choice. But I did go watch his little piece in Precious, and he was very cool and very good in Precious, so I still wasn't totally sure. But you guys, watching him in this trailer, didn't you totally see why they chose him as Cinna? Wow, he is Cinna. Just the way he's so simple and and put together, and he's... there's some chemistry there between Jennifer and, and uh, Lenny Kravitz, too. I just... I feel that chemistry, because I totally... Um, I feel like that is Cinna now. I, I totally good with me right now. And we see when she's on the stage and uh, she has doing her interviews. And we got to see Stanley Tucci as Caesar, 
which I thought was cool. We don't get to see very much of him, but what I saw was awesome. And we see her in interviews, people seeing how awesome he is. And you can just see from that little glimpse how great he is as Caesar. I was like, this movie is gonna be so awesome. I was just like, wow, I didn't actually expect us to see her dress, her actual dress. I thought they were gonna like, cut it up like up here so we would be surprised on her dress, but I guess the actual fire dress in the parade would be a surprise for us, so that's good. You'd see a tiny little glimpse of how small Rue is compared to the giantness that is Kato. You see all their uniforms and their training center, and you see Kato throw a spear right into the center of the training target. You get to see him throw an arrow into the training target that's shaped like a person. And there's also all those emotional moments that people from the book, it's like directly from the book, there's so many lines that are straight from the book into the movie. Like, you, hear, you can hear her talking to Peta on the roof. That, talk, that rooftop scene is such a pivotal point where Peta's saying, I, I, don't want that, I don't want to just be a piece in their games, and Katniss is saying, well, I can't afford to think that way because if I think like that, then maybe I won't survive, and I need to come back to my family. So it's just like life humanity versus love, it's just so great, and I love how they use lines from the movie in a way that didn't sound disjointed, because sometimes when we take lines directly from a novel and stick them coming out of an actor's mouth, it doesn't really sound right, but in this it just worked so well. And then the moment where you see her in the tube coming up and seeing Cinna through the glass, you're just like, oh my gosh, she's going into the arena, this is exactly how I imagined it, and you see them running out off their platforms and cut straight to the, the logo, and I was just like, wow, that was awesome, and it doesn't even show the landscape people when they were watching it, they told us that's not even half the movie, like, what they teased, it's not even half the movie, because most of the movie is in the arena, so it's like, they said it was like a, less than a third of the movie, so, wow, isn't that, a cra isn't that amazing? Yeah, when we went all the fan site operators watched it, we all like, the first time we watched it, we were all so overwhelmed, and everyone was like looking at us for an opinion. We were like, we all started crying. Every last one of us in the room, I think we all cried right after we saw it. We were so worried that they were going to mess up this great novel. They really do have the fans' interest at heart. They've worked so closely with the author, Suzanne Collins, and uh, they want to make us happy, and it really shows, doesn't it? I'm going to be attending the Breaking Dawn Part 1 premiere today when you watch it. It's actually Sunday for me, but when you watch this, it'll be Monday. And I'm gonna get the Breaking Dawn Part 1 premiere, which is the movie that Lionsgate is showing Hunger Games trailer before in theaters. And I'm going to be on the red carpet for my page to premiere network website, hisgoldenice.com. The cool thing is, is that two actors from the Hunger Games are actually gonna be walking the red carpet at this event. You may know who they are, Jackie Emerson, who plays Foxface, and Amanda Stenberg, who plays Rue. They both seem like such down-to-earth girls, and I'm really excited to meet them, actually. This is the first time I've actually been able to be officially talking to someone from the movie, so that'll be so cool, I'm so excited. After you watch this, please, if you have questions for Jackie Emerson or Amanda Stenberg, please tweet at MockingJNet on Twitter, or at Page Premiere on Twitter, and I will try to ask Jackie and Amanda your questions regarding the movie. So that'll be pretty cool, huh? And, uh... It's just crazy, we finally got a trailer, and I'm sure that right now, after you're watching this, the fandom has exploded, there are gifts all over Tumblr, and the world is um, embracing Hunger Games. Cause people who watch this trailer, they're not just gonna be like, whoa, what's that? Because I feel like that was kind of the general consensus from non-fans after watching the teaser trailer, or sneak peek thingamajig. Well, people who don't know about the Hunger Games will be intrigued, they'll be like, what is this movie? It seems kind of cool, so I think I'm gonna go check it out. Mockingview.net is a part of the Page Premiere Network. You should follow Page Premiere on Twitter and like us on Facebook. And you can also follow Mockingview.net itself on Facebook and like us on Facebook there too. And I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the website and visiting as much as you do. Thank you guys, really, for visiting the site. I'm just over overwhelmed by how many people are enjoying the site. And people from all over the world that was treated by Poland and the Netherlands and Sweden and Mexico and Spain and uh, like, what was it? Aruda, the Honduras. I was like, Ireland, oh my gosh. Like I did not expect that many people from all over the world to be visiting my website. I was just crazily amazed. So thank you guys for watching. Tune back next week for another episode of Mockingjay Monday. See you later guys. Bye. Bye.